Zero Dark Thirty had such an unusual role, unusual path to the screen. And uh, your role morphed as it went along, as the script went along. So tell, tell us a little bit about how you got the part and the phone call that you received. Mm. When uh, I got the call from Catherine Bigelow, they had already retooled the script. I guess in the first incarnation, um, you know, it, it was about Tora Bora, and my character wasn't involved in that story. And then after Bin Laden had been killed, Mark Bull, our uh, screenwriter who started his career as an investigative journalist, went away and did some research uh, and discovered my character and discovered her central role in the manhunt for Bin Laden. And I knew within a, a couple pages that I had to play the role. From the moment she's revealed, you know, when the mask, she takes the mask off, I was like, that's really exciting. And, um, and I also love the idea of a character that has opposites within them. And so much of the description of Maya was about her seeming frail um, and almost like a girl, her physical appearance, everything about her seeming um, you know, not worthy of the mission, which is why everyone doubts her. So you had like the two lines in, in the scene after she's um, been introduced where Bradley, uh, where Dan says, isn't she a bit young for this? It's the children's crusade. And Bradley says, Washington says she's a killer. And so from the very beginning, I was like, that's very exciting to play a character like that. Um, your character, like famously, uh, doesn't really have much backstory. We don't know very much about her, and, mm -hmm. and for an actress, that's not always an easy thing to play. So what you ended up doing, I think, is inventing some backstory and yeah. very detailed stuff. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. Um, I love being an actress in the investigation part of it. I find everything is in the script. So even though my character doesn't talk about where she comes from, she doesn't verbalize it. I see all of these clues that I can piece together to make a story. Like there are things, you know, even the line when she says, I was recruited out of, out of high school. That's a huge um, clue right there. So then I have to just to ask myself, okay, why would someone be recruited out of high school? And it would have been, okay, a targeter, someone who's analytically precise, is very good with numbers and data. And when someone's like that, especially someone like Maya, she has difficulty. When, when someone's wrong, she tells them they're wrong. She doesn't like soften the blow. She lets them know. So that was probably the girl that didn't play a lot of sports and like hang out with and like have sleepovers. Um, it was probably very difficult for her to make friends. So I was able to like piece together this whole story just from that one line. Um, I was recruited out of high school, sir. Uh, and when you go through the script, every line will lead you in directions like that. I think I got this timeline right, but you were actually going through sort of all the Oscar stuff for the help while you yes. were rehearsing Zero Dark Thirty. Is that right? Yes. Um, I was actually in Jordan um, doing some rehearsals, and I flew from Jordan, I think, to the BAFTAs, and then to the Oscars, and I went to the Oscars with my grandma. And then the very next day, I got on a plane, and I flew 25 hours to Chandigarh, India, landed, called to Catherine Bigelow and Mark Bull, you know, on the cell phone that you know, someone met me at the airport. And I said, all right, guys, I'm here. Let's go. I was like, I was teasing them, you know, because I like to, I pride myself on that I like to, I like to work. And so I'm always, I have like, come on. And there's nothing that's too much for me. It's that kind of dare I have with people. And as soon as I said that, they said, come to set. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I went to set, no hair, no makeup. They put me in a robe, you know, you see this much of me? And um, Catherine threw me in a market filled with like a thousand people. It was, an act, it was a real market. She said, here's some rupees, go buy vegetables. I didn't speak the language. I just landed after a 25 hour You flight. were literally like from the Vanity Fair yes. Oscar party <laughs> in your gown to. To uh, like a, a robe and then pointing at carrots and like going to. <laughs> just, you know, and not knowing, and the cameras in, in and out of the crowd trying to just capture moments without the crowd noticing the camera. Let's talk a little bit about the physicality. That's an interesting point because mm. because she has to be in this foreign you know, situation, foreign countries, and here you were shooting in, in these places on location. Um, did that impact your performance? Did you feel some of the things that she might have felt as a foreigner in these places? I didn't really have to work on that part of it too much. I mean, already it was strange to be a redhead in that part of the world because you get attention from that. So yeah, I think just being in it 
it it creates the energy and you don't have to do any you know work before you get on set of like putting yourself in the place because you're in the place uh, especially on this movie and we, we, we filmed a lot of scenes in an active Jordanian prison where we had different times of the day we were weren't allowed to come in and out of the prison and it was all open air and it was very tense <laughs> being there and you just kept thinking I just kept thinking if something happened this is the last place I'd want to be <laughs> you know if like some crisis happened did you know immediately that your life was going to change because of that movie or had you had a sense because you had so many movies come out all at the same time that things were going to be different do you know what is bizarre to me Last year, even though I had so many movies come out and I was nominated for an Oscar and all these things, my life didn't really change that much. The one thing that changed is Catherine Bigelow calls my cell phone and asks me to read a script, which is an awesome way for someone's <laughs> life to change. My life has changed more this year. Uh, and I wonder if it's because Zero Dark Thirty, my character looks more like me. And a lot of people, you know, see me walking on the street or whatever, wouldn't connect me to Celia Foote and the help. And so I'm wondering if that's what made difference you know I'm someone who's very very private and I love talking about work and other actors and other films that I admire but this is you know now all of a sudden like tabloids are writing about me it's a very different uh, experience this year and um, I'm still getting used to that I'm not quite comfortable with what that is